I want to circle back to the college football playoff here. Your four teams, Michigan, Washington, Texas, Alabama, all very good teams. But there's controversy when you look at the lack of Florida State. The Seminoles are the only undefeated Power 5 conference champion to ever not make the playoffs. The undefeated ACC champions not in the college football playoff treated like, let's be honest, a group of five conference. No offense to group of five conferences. Why? That's the question. So listening to the committee, it sounds like the availability of quarterback Jordan Travis, who was hurt just a few games ago, is a big reason. But they won a rivalry game on the road the week after with a backup quarterback. And then when he got hurt, they used a true freshman to beat Louisville, dismantling an explosive offense to win 16 to six. Not the prettiest, but it's a win. On the college football playoff website, they say the goal is to evaluate teams' performances on the field using conference, championship, strength of schedule, head-to-head -head results, and common opponents. Well, what about making a Heisman favorite and Jaden Daniels look only slightly superhuman? Better than everyone else? What about Texas nearly losing to TCU and Kansas State? Three-point games. What about Alabama being moments away from losing to Texas A&M, Arkansas, and Auburn? Do we forget about that? What about the fact that those two teams lost games? I think two things can be true. Texas and Alabama are playing like top four teams in the country at this moment, and Florida State's results on the field are top four in the country. Now, part of the committee's job is to create competitive matchups, but how do we know Florida State wouldn't be competitive against Michigan or Washington? Football, more than any other sport, cannot be played on paper. The results on the field have to matter, and the results say Florida State deserves a spot in the playoffs, Julian.